Landon from Reptiles and Landon, and today I will be bringing you a video showing you how to set up your American Toad setup. And today I will be not using coconut husk or this forest floor bedding cypress mulch. I won't be using that either. I won't be using that for the toads anymore because I'm running low and I don't have enough to clean out. So I will be using Reptibark. And this is good because crickets won't get lost in their cage. And it's good on humidity. Blah, blah, blah. It's really thin, so if they want to burrow, they can cover themselves with it. And today I'll be showing you how to set it up. So, good. So, first we have our substrate. And I don't have like a cool side or, or a warm side for these American toads because American toads, like all frogs, well, just because they don't need that much heat. Because I, if I do give it to them, they'll probably get dried out and die. Because for toads and frogs, I know this might sound weird, but drink through their skin. So they don't like, like drink like a dog, like lap up water. They actually absorb it with their skin. So... Like, I guess the wetter, the better for these guys, because if you don't, if it's not wet enough, they can die and dry out. But if it's too wet, mold can grow. So you guys have to have, like, the right humidity and moisture. Okay, and first, I'll have my water bowl. I just have a little, like, Reptile Rock Medium, made by Zoomed. I actually like Zoomed products, because as you can see, there's, like, little steps. Just because if you're told if you fill it up too much and you're afraid they're going to drown, they have a little step just to walk out. Easy access, easy exit. Okay, and I put this right in the middle just so they know where it is. Put it like that. I'll get out of the way so you guys can see. Okay, and now I will be adding their hide. They only have one. It's just a little exoterra. Small. Okay. And I like... Wait a minute, guys. I might get a little bit more over here. Yeah, okay, that's good. And I'm just making sure, like, the toads can get in, like, that it's, the exit is wide enough for them to get in and out. And right now it is. Okay, and now we add, and I have two rocks, like, rocks that I brought from in from outside. I actually boil them so I know that they're safe. 
and I put these in like over here, one over here and like one over here. And that's just so like when I squirt it, they absorb moisture and they like when they evaporate or when the water evaporates, comes off the rock, create humidity and so when they stand on it, they absorb moisture good, well, well, because these rocks, I, don't, I think they're like sandstone, made out of like recycled sandstone or something. And they're actually really good for keeping in moisture. So I'll add those in. And you guys don't have to make it like, like an elevated surface. It could just be like ground level and just so it could be like an extra hot, um, like wet spot. And so they know they can up to a moisture if they do, just in case if they don't want to go in their water bowl, because if they, if it's either they don't want to swim because they're tired or lazy, and if just because they just want to hang out with all the rest of the toes, they don't want to go all the way to the water bowl, they have these for excess water. Okay, and for foliage, I, because they don't really like climb, they're not like tree frogs and all that, I got one plant, plant that I hang down to the bottom so it looks like that so they can climb up to the top to like exercise and when I squirt it it the water the little droplets stay off and drip so it actually sometimes it keeps the ground that it's under moist so when they go under to hide it's like really moist under there and if they really wanted to they could um, get moisture from this and I have a little squirt bottle but don't worry guys this is treated water with chlorine with defluoride with defluoride um Drops in it. I got them all set. Okay, and add in. As you can see, it looks very nice, easy elevation from from there all the way up to there. You can use that like a little diving board if you want. Okay, I'll mist it so you know what, so you guys know what it looks like. Um, all misted and wet. And I'm going to be using this water for the water bowl because I don't have any like extra defluoride. Defluoride um drops on me, so I will be using this. Just okay. And these are, and I like like to wrap the bark because as you can see, it holds moisture well for them, and it's good for their skin. Um. Yeah, and I'll add in the toilet now. I have them in a little shielding system that I showed you guys before. Just for like a clean note. And that is a mic. Not to Mike, and I'm getting Luke. Well, I'm gonna phrase that. I'm getting Lucy right now. I'll show you guys her. And she is a little spooked. So, I'm like, oh, oh, don't jump. That's Lucy. Add her in there. Okay, and I'm going to mist it one more time, just so they can get wet. Oh, okay. Okay. I'll put on the lid, so you can see the final product.
And that is their final product of a cage.